The president laid out his new budget in Pennsylvania yesterday, gardening disapproving reactions from Republicans in the House. Reporter Sofia Zuniga from our DC Bureau is live with the recap. Yesterday, President Biden released his budget for the 2024 fiscal year, totaling up to $6.8 trillion. Now it's moving on to Congress, which is expected to be dead on arrival because of the Republican majority in the House. Biden wants to tax billionaires at least 25 percent, increase corporate tax rates, and quadruple tax on stock buybacks. These tax increases will bring in around $5 trillion in the next decade, which Democrats plan to use to reduce America's debt. While Republicans will not agree with these plans, they may agree with his $842 billion allocation for the Defense Department. My budget invests in public safety. It includes funding for more training, more support for law enforcement, at a time when they're expected to pay, play many roles. I don't want to defund them. They need more help. We don't expect to cop me up everything from a psychologist to a counselor. The budget was presented in the Philadelphia Union Hall with the intention of targeting middle-class Americans. Biden pushed for more financial help for college, lowering prescription prices, and bringing back the manufacturing sector to America. Biden said his budget aims to lift the burden on hardworking Americans, allegedly opposed to Republicans' plans. The fact is that the Speaker of the House has been a very conservative guy and has even more conservative group of them. We'll sit down and we'll line by line. And we'll go through it and see if we can agree on it or we disagree on it and then fight it out in the Congress. Republicans were extremely vocal about their disagreement with the proposed budget, with Speaker Kevin McCarthy calling it completely unserious. Reporting for the South Florida Media Network, I'm Sophia Suniga from Washington, D.C.